Hello, my name is Wes, and today I'm going to be demonstrating the process as well as explaining what happens while making a French meringue. So, for the ingredients, we have three egg whites in this white container, nine tablespoons of powdered sugar, three for each large egg white, um, cream of tartare in the pink bowl as well as a little dash of salt and in the orange bowl we have vanilla extract um, around a tablespoon of it so to start with the process you take the egg whites in the bowl and you mix them at a medium speed as you add in the vanilla and the cream of tartare with a dash of salt so I'm gonna add these in first because I don't have a stationary mixer or whipper. But usually you would want to add these in at the same time. So the cream of tartare is added to the mixture to stabilize the egg whites as well as to allow them to form the stiff peaks. The salt is added so it helps coagulate the proteins. Um, the vanilla is only there to add a little bit of that flavoring. So by the time your mixture is at a cloudy substance and it's uh, foamy and it's sticking to the end of the mixture, at this point you've reached the soft peak stage of cooking. Now this is the time you add in a tablespoon of your powdered sugar at a time and you do this while mixing but I'm not very good at multitasking so I'm gonna add it first or one tablespoon at a time. Sugar is added to the mixture just after the egg whites begin foaming. Sugar dissolves into the foam and bonds with the chains to lend water to the mixture. This aids in coagulation and solidifies bonds as well as increases the protein elasticity as well as more bubbles are present in the mixture and the meringue is able to expand in volume. Right. Once you've added all of the sugar in and you've mixed it for a decent amount of time at uh, medium speed, medium to high speed, uh, you know when the meringue is done or to the correct amount of firmness when you take the mixer out and it is has like a firm peak on the end of it. Next, you will want to put the meringue on a baking sheet and cook at a low temperature around 215 degrees Fahrenheit for 30 to 40 minutes. This is so that this the air bubbles are able to expand and will increase the volume of your meringue. Once the meringue is crisp, light, and you are able to lift it off of the cookie sheet without the meringue falling apart, open the oven door and allow it to cool even further before you consume. 